It was quite amazing to see how adaptable he was to going up the hills. I had to slow him down and tell him to wait up for me because he was just zooming by all those rocks. And I'm like jogging, keep up with him. He's a high energy dog, so we go hiking and walking all the time. And he kind of just developed all that upper arm strength. I used to rescue small dogs. I was at a shelter in LA filling out paperwork and a family had dropped off Ferris. They said that they found him on the side of the road and they thought he got hit by a car. But I've been a vet tech for 14 years and I knew that he wasn't in any pain. It was more of a congenital thing. So I talked the shelter into letting me take him. He just looked like the saddest little puppy. I just knew I needed to help him. I brought him home with the intention of adopting him out. Ferris was actually adopted out to three different families and every single family returned him to me. I just kind of decided that I was going to keep him. There was just something that I was very drawn to. Now I know why he got returned every time because he was meant to be with me. He got his first wheelchair when he was about eight months old and the first time he got put into it, he just took off running. He's really the only dog that I've seen go as fast as he does. In the beginning, it was overwhelming. Once I got a routine down with him, it's become so much easier. There's times where I'll be petting Ferris and he's just like making eye contact with me and I swear he's just staring into my soul and saying thank you. My whole philosophy with Ferris is don't feel sorry for him because I'll only hold him back. Sometimes he needs a little extra help from me, but most of the time he's so motivated and determined. Ready, go! I also own a dog walking business. I go downtown with the dogs and people's first reaction is always to feel sorry for him. And I'm like, why? Why do you feel sorry for him? Like, he can outrun any of these dogs. I was always a little bit unsure of bringing him hiking because I had in my mind that I was going to have to carry him in my backpack the entire time. Ferris is the happiest, most inspiring dog you will ever meet. He has this infectious energy. When people look at him, it is impossible not to smile. If I'm ever having a bad day, all I need to do is just go take Ferris for a walk and my mindset is completely changed. I feel like he gives me so much more in life than I could ever give him. Si amas a los animales, suscríbete.